Well, a bit of a double whammy video here. With the flat Suez Canal. Now, the Suez Canal really presents problems for people who believe the Earth is round. And I'm not on any camp or team here. I'm just saying that's a fact. But if people can show me the Suez Canal curvature, I'll be very happy to believe the Earth is round. But unless you can show me the Suez Canal curves and show me the documentation, I'm afraid it looks very flat to me. Because, uh, look, the 6th of August, all in this little time we've been having in the 8th year, we're having uh, 8 and 6 there, so there's a 14. This thing's bound for a hoax up at some stage, and wouldn't you imagine, such an amazing thing, the Suez Canal connecting uh, the Indian and Mediterranean seas. But yes, let's just little look at a bit of a thing here, the Suez Canal, when you come up here. The Great Bitter Lake, I find that an interesting name for sure. Uh, 193 kilometres or 120 miles. 79 feet deep and 670 feet, 205 metres wide. So excavating all of this, how did they uh, take into consideration the curvature of the Earth? Or did they just dig a long, flat, straight trench? Especially when they were building them back in 1869, would they have the technology to accurately curve the Suez? Now, let's face it, I don't think this thing's curved, do you? Do you really think there's any curve in this? Let's just let me get up here and I'll show you the long and short of it, as it were. Here it is, look. Going through that bit of lake, no doubt. Along we go and out to the sea. And let's look at what it looks like in an image. Yeah, so I guess it's just up to you. If you believe that there's a curve in this, or do you believe that that is just flat? Now we know water finds a level. Very strange indeed that you could even have a canal like this on a curved earth. It sounds hard, doesn't it, somewhere? I mean, it's just so much easier on a flat earth if you just dig the hole and away you go. You know, there'd be a certain engineering skill of doing these things and taking into certain considerations curvature. It just doesn't look like there's any curvature, so there's no need for any thoughts like that. Just no need, in my opinion. That's all I can see from this, you know. If people have got any ideas about curving the Suez Canal, please tell us, you know. Here it is here. Looks pretty straight and flat to me there, you know. See, it really does present a real problem for the idea of a round Earth. You must admit things like this, just, just to look at and think, well, gee, that looks flat. Is that curved? Wouldn't the water run out of each end in the middle, Millie, is what you're thinking, but you know, maybe this gravity holds it a certain way, I mean. It just doesn't seem right, eh, that you'd think that thing could be curved. It looks flat, and being flat, it's easy to see how it holds the water and everything's easy. It becomes very complicated, the world with the curve, and that just doesn't stick up for a curve somehow. The fact that the water's at each end and it's all level all the way, you're telling me this is curved. This is a slight curve in this somehow, you know, to fit with the globe. You're on a curve or you're not, you know. Somehow people with the curve want to say things can be flat. Don't forget the curve goes this way and this way. It's a double curve type idea, you know. It's not just, you're not just on a, on a barrel. You're on a globe. Every way curves, you know. So it presents me a lot of problems with something like this. But on a flat earth it seems real easy. So I don't know what your thoughts are, but to me, Suez Canal, just like those long tunnels uh, and long bridges, you know, they really present problems on a curved earth. There's no doubt. All rivers, you know, to get them flowing. Like, there's curvature. There's, I don't know. There's just something wrong in my head with curvature. That's all I can say. I don't know about you, but it just doesn't sit right with me.
But if you can give me a good explanation, Mr. Woody I never does. And people like Crossman have sided with people like that. And not, I haven't sided with anyone. I've just sort of shown a few simple things that I can see are really problematic for the curve. Just something wrong in a curved earth with a Suez Canal. So I'll leave it to your opinions and comments. But that looks flat to me.